Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And this is Putty, the background noise loving guy that I am in the Teamwork Cast world. You are a background noise loving guy, but you are of course in the foreground here at uh, Netrunner Teamwork Cast. This is the 2nd of May. This is a regional at Highlander Games in Dortmund and this is the top 8 already game number... This is the third video that we recorded here. We are following me into the, um, well, the fun bracket, I guess. The honey badger bracket. The honey badger bracket. This is where all things can happen because no one gives a flying honey badger about anything. I don't know. I guess we care more now because we are, you know, about to be ejected from the tournament. One of the players will leave the tournament if they lose. Uh, it's going to be me on the right and on the left is going to be Frederick. I, I really like this mat. I had not seen it before. Uh, the one that Frederick uses? Yeah. Uh, it's the mat that you could win in the uh, regional uh, championships. So we start the game already. Frederick is playing, or Kephalophode Kef Kef is playing the HBs. Uh, HB uh, uh, and the fun. Fred. Engineer in the future. I feel like I should make Flintstone jokes, but I will not. Nah, he's, he's not that kind of guy. Uh, I am playing the Lila, so I will bounce something every time somebody gets an agenda. And we start off with a green level clearance and two installs. Green level clearance. Not a card that you've seen in the show for a long time, but it's making it's, a comeback. It made a huge comeback. I'm using it in one of my decks as well. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it's a good economy and cards at the same time. Speeds up your deck, gives you economy. We see an install of the Data Sucker. We see a Dirty Laundry on Archives to get a Data, data Sucker uh, token. And the baby comes out. And the secure testing comes out. You know, there's nothing better than baby credits. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Baby in Netrunner fun uh, functions exactly the other way than the baby in real life works. In real life, <laughs> you get poor and you have less time to do things. <laughs> In, in Netrunner, you get money and you get click compression. Netrunner inverse baby relations. Mm -hmm. I understand now. And we see, and it's maybe like with a symmetrical visage, babies are nicer. I don't know. Uh, we see uh, um, the archives being iced up and the restructure. Yeah, Nick. Like uh, Frederick, of course, we saw Frederick in, a, in the finale of the last tournament of the last regional Osnabrück where he had like a phenomenal run some really exciting games here so you know i've been watching this and so like making it to the top eight and then meeting frederick was kind of like for me like wow <laughs> what am i even doing here anyway security testing the archives but running on hq no, that's not, it's good you gotta get him to use some of that money also he should be thanked for uh setting up his credits so well oh yeah frederick is super good about this i think he should he should be like a um uh, uh, like a model for all of us. And we see a um, next bronze being rest, so that stops my run. Uh, not the kind of huge ice I wanted to him to rest. Kind of a problem for uh, criminals in general, those uh, cheap and run ice kind of things. Uh, especially the next bronze as it grows stronger and stronger and becomes uh, unbreakable with Yogg. Unbreakable. Indestructible. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Wow. And yes, Frederick, what will you do? Install. That's a good idea. He, of course, he gets a credit every time, the first time he installs something. And that is the Jackson Howard. Jacko. Oh, Jacko. The good card that everybody plays that does all those magical things. Man, as new player, never understand like what some of the, why people obsess about some of the cards. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we see uh, install in front of HQ and I security test the Jacko. Run on a Jacko. Do I run on a Jacko? Run on a... Yeah, I have to run on a yeah, Jacko. I mean, yeah, running on. on a Jacko. And it's like, are you going to deny me the credits? <laughs> so, Frederick is thinking about this. He can pop the Jacko, which makes the server disappear. And that's what, what he does. He brings... And that's not very, not very efficient Jacko because just two cards. Uh, so in, in, this, in, some, in some way, I kind of saved myself a couple of credits. Uh, something got destroyed in the, in the, in the corner here. We have to maybe explain why he's shuffling. Like this is a tournament that took place in a, like a empty, like department store, ah, like nice. a closed store that was kind of like f closed. So they in, in like a mall. So it's like a huge space with nothing, just tables. Really, <laughs> really beautiful. And then hedge funding at the end. 
So we recently uh, had a, a new player enter our kind of meta area. He went and he spent, you know, two, three hundred dollars on all these cards. And he had the core set yesterday. And he was playing the core decks. Mm. And he's sitting there as Gabriel Santiago. Yeah. And he's running against a deck that was all traces. Oh. And he throws down, I think there's, is there, was there two? He yeah. throws down access to Global Sec, and we're like, Yes! Oh. <laughs> and then he throws down another one, and we're like, No! <laughs> <laughs> Something that you don't see these days so much. Maybe with Armand, um, um, the new criminal identity that just came out as we're recording this. Maybe this will become more interesting. We see a restructure from Frederick. So he gets up all the money. He's at, like, what, 28? Uh, no, uh, 18 credits now. And then we're gonna, he's going to install an... Uh, an upgrade on uh, HQ. He nice. understands very well how to play against criminals. Yeah. Usually, uh, criminal games are decided on the HQs, especially in like a glacier type of deck, yeah. HB or RP. We had a big debate last night because we were talking about Gabriel Santiago. We're trying to figure mm. out how to describe the criminals. And I described them as uh, they amass a ton of money and then slowly they'll just kind of take over everything. <laughs> And well, they, yeah. they didn't agree that the or the other people that were there didn't agree that criminals were slow. Uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, like they you didn't used to be slow. They, I, th- I think, in the long run, they're not doing so well. Well, because I think that people confuse Andy as a fast yeah. runner. Andy has a great opening hand, but and she'll get stuff out quickly. But she was the only one. So we see a fairy installed and a, and a, and a this is a longer discussion, so I have yeah. to cut this short a bit, <laughs> uh, but maybe we're going to come back to this when the next uh, Jackson shuffle happens. Uh, we see a fairy installed and a um, uh, Katy Jones, and then meanwhile, Frederick just plays, so he has another money card, so he has hedge fund, man, look at this, this is going looking problematic, even though I'm at 11 credits, I don't feel like I can <laughs> do so anything much. aggressive against him. So much money, oh my god. I'm lacking the breakers too, so, uh, yeah. so you know, that's, that's another problem here. Uh, just a fairy doesn't really help me, I don't want to just bump into ice on R&D, because that's what happened last time against Prop Cho, like yeah. making him rest all the stuff. So I'm kind of being cautious, trying to assemble my, my suite, so yes, ah, that's a Corona, Corona. that's really good. And and slowly, um, slowly planning my assault here. I want to hear people's opinions about criminals. Yeah. In the comments, there is certainly like a criminal type that we're trying to FVG is trying to um, to enforce, which is kind of like the criminal type that waits for yeah. the corporation to run ahead and then exploits us. For example, like Ian Sterling does that. And Leela can do, that, can do this too. And I'm actually trying it kind of right now uh, as a kind of like out of necess- necessity because I don't have the breakers. Yeah. So I, I kind that... of lay low for yeah. a while, amass a bit of, of, of money. Then when he scores something and I have a bounce, then maybe I can exploit this opening somehow. But I do, I'm pretty sure that Frederick has a good idea because he's created like a huge server there, to an upgrade yeah. there, installing in that server, two eyes in front of it. I don't think it's going to be an agenda. Uh, but yeah, of course, I'm challenged to do something about this now. No kidding. I do like the idea of Leela as an alternative Ian. Yeah, it's kind, it's of, kind of like kind a of mixture of Ian and, uh, and a more aggressive oh, kind of like can switch. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so that's uh, one of the cards I was waiting for. I think the Desperado really, um, like, if I start running without the Desperado, I, uh, it's very, very going to be diff- more difficult to hold on to my money. Um, so the Desperado will make those runs a, li- lo- a lot efficient, a lot more efficient. I wish I had it on my starting hand. But, you know, with Lila, you kind of, uh, you kind of can't choose. And keep clicking my Kati. Uh, not being not so hot about discarding the um, secure testing. I think you can easily play two secure testings. That would be. Uh, it's just not the kind of card that I enjoy, but that would be kind of entertaining. It's it's good if you uh, the uh, deck of the opponent is kind of like good for, cre- creates a lot of uh, remote servers. Of course, now Frederick is kind of like relying on those operations that we saw. So I'm not gonna see, we're not gonna see a lot of remote servers from him. So I don't think like I have to have like another secure testing. Sometimes it's just kind of like really fun to to um, you know being stopped by some ice. The run the corporation exerts themselves, and suddenly you get all right. I'm getting like six credits from the servers that you didn't didn't uh, d- um, protect. And they go like no. <laughs> yeah, at this point, oh man, yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. 
trying to get through. Uh, the main problem here is that he has so much money, and and with, the only ice I saw is the bronze. Mm -hmm. So I'm not expecting to be um, like if I have to assume that he has more next ice. The next ice is very cheap to rest, so it's going to be very difficult for me to make him spend all that money. Triple advance uh -oh. on that installed card. I'm gonna say that's a fiver. And with an uh, upgrade on R&D uh, HQ, I have to assume that this is something like a Chrysium grid. So I cannot like account siphon into him and, and uh, make make uh, force him to difficult monetary decisions. Hmm. Uh, Frederick um, kind of is a good good. Um, he kind of plays like this um, conservative game where he kind of uh, does things very very carefully and, and and thinks a couple of steps ahead. Yeah. Uh, so I got out the uh, the cloud breaker, um, the um, uh, code gate breaker, which is Zul, and I'm getting more monies with hedge fund, uh, sure gamble, and click and Cutty Jones. I think I have all my breaker suite assembled, but I see that there is a score coming up. So I'm thinking like, all right, I'm gonna uh, give him this anyway because um, if there's like a all right, so that was a Hades fragment. Oh, there's like nice. a there's like an ash inside, and then I'm gonna, not going to be able to do anything about this. So I'm bouncing an ice on a remote server. Sadly, um, he can he has like enough clicks to replace it immediately. So uh, he kind of so foresaw uh, my plan and made sure that he slows this agenda a bit slow more slowly. Yeah. So he still has the, the time to replace it, huh. and it doesn't even really cost him this time. Uh, because of his HB ability, he doesn't even spend a credit for this. He gets the credit back immediately. So this is really bad. Uh, I have to do something now. So I'm taking the Cutty Jones credits. Putting up an R&D interface. There is just one uh, ice in front of R&D. Yeah, but I wonder yeah. what ice that is, considering it could literally be anything. But it's just an Eli. It's just an Eli. Very so, uh, nice. So yeah, it's not really ideal for me because I don't... Uh, th like, I have to pay four to get through this. Oh, that sucks. Four yeah. or two clicks, I guess. Yeah, mm. yeah and I'm, after what happened with PropJong, I'm not going to click through Eli's anymore. <laughs> 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 and then trashing a Jackson. Uh, not something what I wanted to see. And you know that he's going to throw another ice down in front of yeah, Eli's probably turn. Will, will do that, yeah. That R&D looks very vulnerable. I'm thinking about running maybe again. Uh, but I don't think I have... You don't have any clicks left, or at least according to your counters. Uh, yeah, I, the counters are very dark, so we don't see. I think I have to get. Oh yeah, you do have one counter count. left. Oh, I guess not. Uh, I think oh. I'm just getting a baby. I'm, I'm not because if I could pay four to see yet another card, mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't seem worth it. I kind of better hold on to my money at this point. Yeah. I, I guess I could pay two because I have two data sucker tokens. And actually, it would be just one because there's Desperado. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if you have the chance to see a card from H from the... Uh, ooh. Mm. Uh oh Upgrading. There is an upgrade being installed on the R&Ds. But I think if you have a chance to see another card in R&D, you might as well take it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, like... Uh, I have been playing against um, Eli's for a long time. Because yeah. they kind of went out of favor due to Lady. So this is kind of like... Uh, was weird. So I'm running there again. Oh, Ash. Ash, 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 Ash. What will it be? It stays at four. Uh, but I'm, I'm trashing the Ash. You might as well. And then what? Run again? And I'm just running again. Yeah. I'm, I'm being really stupid here because I'm not using my data sucker tokens. Maybe I will remember. Yeah, I now I remember. Yeah, well done, Christian. Well done. <laughs> uh oh, I'm we're getting confused about the credits. Okay, I, in the future we will actually go through the, the video and see if I missed some credits here. Uh, I, I think didn't that actually... you should have one less data sucker token. I think yeah, that you're... I, I have to like see what I what I said here. Maybe I haven't used the data sucker tokens, or maybe I just used one. I don't know. Well, you got two credits back, and you should have lost two data sucker tokens, so you should only have two. Or no, but you ran it, succeeded twice. 
So that's right. No, man. It's it's difficult. And, he, you know, it's very late. And I think I already had a beer. So, uh, you know, <laughs> things like this ought, uh, um, happen. Even like for Frederick, something like this can happen. Yeah. I think if anything, there should be one less data sucker token. I didn't click the Katy Jones this time, so that's kind of bumps me out a bit. Yeah, but you sacrifice the click for the KD for an, a chance to score an agenda. I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah. And then you see an install advance in that scoring server. Yikes. Ooh, a third oh, thing. Oh, oh, wow, oh. what? Uh, thinking about this. So I've, I've been playing in HP deck sort of like this, the upgrade hell. Yeah. You're like, oh, look, there's six upgrades in this server. Maybe one of them's an agenda, do you know? <laughs> Why don't you come and find out? Yeah, let's see what I have in store for you. But you have to be careful, like because there's going. You can only have one, uh, one uh, region in there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And soon. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of the alliance cards. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that there's. That you can only have one region, but you can have, have multiple systems. How does it even work? Do like it would seem like that's that's kind of like this typical. Mythical man here mistake. Multiple uh, sysops like add up. Wow! Of all of the references I would have ever expected you to make, the mythical man would would not be one of them. <laughs> all right, getting on the R and D's, getting two cards. This time you are using the data suckers correctly, hopefully. Uh, seeing two cards, but nothing. Ugh. That freaking book. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, everybody, every developer should, should read this. I don't even think every developer, anyone who's involved with computation in some way, shape, or form should read that book. So I finally decided to run on HQ because uh, a lot of my plans, of course, uh, revolve around running on HQ. There is a, there is a silver, and uh, I'm breaking oh, the... Me say what? And then uh, I'm breaking the silver, now I'm breaking the bronze. This is strength <laughs> two now. Uh, which means I would have to use a data sucker token. I'm just no. I'm using the credits just for this. I think. Why? Why are you going through HQ? Uh, because I I want to clear it of the of the upgrade that was in there, so I can maybe I like account siphon or something. Uh, yeah. Or, may, or I maybe can see. I, or maybe secure uh, emergency shutdown. Like there's a lot of things in my plan. Generally, there's a lot of things in for um, criminals that involve uh, the HQ. So so put put an upgrade there. It's really like. Really, making it really difficult. Did I miss you at least testing R and D while I was trying to remember if Mythical Man Month was the book I thought it was? Yes, you did. I ran this turn on R and D, but there is nothing, so you know I have to do something else. I kind of ran running running low on money, which is very bad. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like I, as if I can contest that server. A oh poor, man. Oh, oh a uh, poor criminal. A poor criminal is a terrible, terrible time. Frederick spending two for this. Um, really, really sad. You are whittling down his economy, which is nice. Well, he's whittling my economy better than I whittled <laughs> down his economy. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Uh, checking, contesting the server. At least I, I don't want him to go carefree about this. He's out of maybe, load hand range. <laughs> I'm thinking that maybe one of the one of the um, upgrades there is maybe like a caprice. Yeah. So that would make, put him like in a difficult spot if he has to res it. But of course, really keep, thinking about it. Wow. He can keep you up with an ash or whatever. Uh, but then I would maybe be able to trash the ash. I mean, he has to rest something at, uh, for sure. So that's really good. Yeah. But like, if that's a uh, like a Heimdall or something like that, I'm more uh, afraid of something like a toll booth. Uh, oh, yeah. But a to toll booth would really be like a financial uh, financial problem. Oh, yeah. That's a next bronze is also a problem because all the other next ice is so much more taxing now. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna push it to the limit. Wow, you really are You're making me proud right now. Ah, push it, push it to the limit. All right, and that is Mother Goddess. Wow, I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, it, uh, very good here because it counts as a next ice. Um, so it is also uh, even uh, yeah, boosting the next ice even more. So now we have like the all the uh, bronze ice are strength four, and the silver one has four subroutines. I don't have any kind of ice destruction in this deck, and uh, the only way of me like getting rid of nasty ice like this is to through um, emerging shutdown, which is not possible because HQ is, is closed. Yeah. He has me in a, quite an advice here, so I'm bouncing off this. I'm not even gonna break it. Um, because I probably would just encounter a, an ash, and then I wouldn't be able to even trash the ash. Yeah. 
I guess at this point you're kind of stuck just going through R&D hoping for the best. I guess that's my plan. He scores the um, Vitruvius, <laughs> and I think he doesn't put a counter on it. Yeah, so uh, he still has one, one click left. I have to bounce something. I'm bouncing down of the upgrades, but it really just makes... Now is, he even earns money from this because he can just reinstall it See, and get a credit for this. I think I would have bounced the ice on archives so that you could at least security test it. So well, he would just replace back. it anyway. It just doesn't matter. Like, That's true. And uh, if I bounce it on an archives, there is a chance that he will install something that is more... Um, more fitting because he had to install it very early on so he had to kind of use the eyes that he just drew uh, but if I bounce it then he can maybe replace with something that is like a crick or something that he just drew and made, yeah. uh, in, in but I mean he also might have tried to put it in front of R&D which would have been bad but that would have still left the archive yeah that, that's that's also a possibility that we just put it somewhere else yeah all right, so sneaked or better uh, I don't know I don't know if I like this play Christian I don't know man I'm not feeling it <laughs> speaking feeling of archives this. Yeah, checking the archives with just uh, two credits and a data sucker token um, without, without data sucker tokens. Oh, did you catch him without uh, without enough money for him to res that? Oh no, he's got it. Is another Eli? Uh, yes, yes. It's an Eli. I think I can click through it because that would be really great because then maybe I can trash the. No, oh man, it's uh, I didn't don't have the clicks anymore. Ah. But uh, if he doesn't replace it, then I can click through the Eli, and then maybe trash the um, the Caprice Nisei through the sneak turtle. So that was I guess my plan here. Mm. And then maybe can even duress something. Yeah, it's kind of like nice. So he plays uh, green level clearance. You have start something in the server. Checks all the all the pile of goodness <laughs> in the server and then I hedge funding up. Man, look at at Frederick just having no problem with the economy whatsoever, just yeah. money up like a boss. It's that's sad. I was like, wow, maybe this is gonna turn around into Christian's favor. But nope, he can recover nope. financially just like that. So I have a feeling that he's put an agenda in there and he's going to win next turn. No, he's not because he's at f uh, th four. Oh wait, he, he could. Yeah, if that's an agenda, he will win. Yeah. Yeah, it's he's at five, and so if that's yeah, an agenda, yeah, I'm, I'm being too. I'm being too slow about all of this. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you could have been any faster. I honestly yeah. don't know what else you could have done. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I really don't want to see that, and I'm trashing the, the Nisei here. So that's great, but now I don't have the money to get through the R and D in a frontal way. Yeah. Um, forgot my security testing here. I'm going to put it on a scoring server. Um, I don't think I can. There's anything I can do right now. There's yeah. a ABT in there, and he wins the game, ladies and gentlemen. He wins the game. Do it! Do it! <laughs> uh, yeah. So what do we learn from this game, Nick? What we learn? That criminals are slow. <laughs> I, I think I wasn't able to run as effect effectively because I, I think there was like no single um, special order in here. Yeah, he had and, an absolutely fantastic uh, economy ice draw as yeah, well. Definitely, uh, and that really helped. And here's like all this tiny ice, which is very difficult for me to do with. I think a good play for me would have been something like a yog um, to get maybe through the um, uh, bronze ice cheaper. Yeah, uh, but I drew the um, um, the uh, cloudbreaker, the the zool instead. So that kind of like caused me a bit of a trouble here. Uh, and also I whiffed on the on the R and D axis. If, if one of them had connected, if I yeah. would, would I be able to score one of those, maybe things would have turned around. I would have maybe to be able to bounce back the upgrade on air, um, HQ, do an account save in there. Um, there would have been a lot of ways to put, for me to pull this off. Sadly, I just the RNG just wasn't there. Yeah. And of course, again, Frederick just played like a very nice strategy game, made sure that I don't have any access to HQ, kind of denying me like a crucial, uh, crucial thing and in he my had plan. A ton of money and a ton of not devastating but effective small ice. So he never had to spend any of his money. Yeah, it kind of like makes me like I think um, the by this time the meta has switched around and you see a lot of more um, parasites. But yeah. um, you know, cr criminals usually don't have the uh, influence for parasites and the recursion required for parasites. Yeah. So that was kind of like a say. That's like a, like a good build against a criminal uh, attack. I'm interested to see how Geist is going to change around the criminal world. I, I've seen tons of decks with him already. 
Me too. I have so. a deck to today and uh, our meetup today later on. I will maybe try it out. Let's see about that. I hope to see Geist in a future tournament. But meanwhile, we are going to move on, Nick. We are going to move on to the next game in this top eight. We're going to follow Frederick through the fun bracket, through the nice. honey badger bracket. Hey, Frederick, I really like your coat. Yeah, that's a that's a lucky jacket that he's wearing right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So see you next next uh, next game. And until then, hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the In your planet! Sweet yeah. Yeah. In the car. Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.